students at Georgia State University forced out into the cold after a pipe burst. CBS 46's Adam Harding is joining us from the live desk with new information that he's just learned. Adam. So if you can believe this, this all started according to the Atlanta Fire Department with two women that were fighting. It ended with a burst pipe. Let me get you live to the scene. Photojournalist Jeff Moore has been there now for about an hour and a half. This is on John Wesley Dobbs. That right there is the building that had to be evacuated. At least part of it was. Uh, and this is an off campus housing building for a number of Georgia State University students. In fact, let me show you some video from a short time ago. As you can see, the fire emergency crews were there where students were sent rushing outside in the near freezing temperatures because that fight that burst the pipe, there was water everywhere. In fact, we caught up with one student. Here's what she told us just a short time ago. When I first got there, um, the front of the building, it looked like it was raining, like, but just in that area. Uh -huh. But when I got inside, it was really flooding. I asked one of the girls, like, why this was happening? And apparently there's a fight. Well, we do know that two women were taken into custody within the last few minutes. I just reached out to the Atlanta Police Department. We're working to learn more on any possible charges that they might be facing, as well as what exactly happened here. But again, the fire department telling us that this all started with a fight between two women. It ended somehow with a burst pipe that put water everywhere all up and down that building. That's why the students had to be evacuated. We're looking at the temperature, folks, 36 degrees. They had to go outside. They were there. You can see the scene has now cleared. They're being allowed back inside the building. But this story certainly something that's got a lot of people scratching their heads.